Hi Trader Tina here once again from shortmetina.com with my daily recap. Uh, today is Monday, so hopefully you are back into the swing of things. Most of us came off of a four-day holiday, so hopefully you enjoyed yourself, you enjoyed your holidays with your family, loved ones, friends, pets, whomever. Again, hopefully you enjoyed yourself. So I'm going to say welcome and welcome back. Do me a solid uh, comment in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Ensure that you are subscribed to our channel. All right. So again, like I said, today is Monday, December 2nd. So you know what that means. We just kicked off the last month in the last quarter of the year. So if 2019 wasn't the greatest and also bear in mind, you've had about 11 months worth of data, right? January to November to sort of assess to see how you are faring uh, in the market as a trader. Profitability is a goal, like you can get there. Again, I've been trading for a long time, uh, over 15 years, again, closer to 20. It took me quite some time to kind of get a grapple and hold of the market. And I'm here to tell you, while you, while it might seem extremely difficult right now, if you take some of the lessons that, I, that I'm teaching you here, I guarantee you're going to get to that next level. But you got to put in a little bit of work. What does that mean? I think at minimum, it is assessing your trades, right? Take a look at what you did from January to November and what you want to do on a very basic level. You want to, uh, Look at the things that you did wrong. Look at the things that you did right. You want to replicate more of what you did right and do less of what you did wrong, right? I know it might sound quote unquote simple, but listen, I like to keep things simple and on a very basic level, that's what successful trading is all about. Very much so rule-based, right? Discipline, but you got to do the right thing and things and you have to do the right things consistently. So take some time out. You have a month left in the year. You don't necessarily need to trade, right? If you're not doing well, there's no need to do more of the same if you're not doing well. Take some time out. Look at your trades, right? Log into your broker account. See the trades that you've taken. Look at the ones where you were profitable. Uh, is there a theme to them? Look at the trades that you didn't do so well on again. Is there a theme? Uh, journal, take notes, notation. It's going to take some time, but it is worth it in the end. You know why? One, you'll learn how to trade. You'll know how to trade. You'll begin doing the things that actually work. And two, while we all trade, you'll make money. The objective, the goal is to make money, all right? So do that. Assess, analyze your trade. Uh, ensure that you're plugged into all of our channels. We, we release a watch list every Sunday for free. We do these uh, daily recaps when the market is open and we are accessible. If you have any questions uh, about the services that we offer here, you can contact us, me personally, Tina at shortmetina.com or reach out at support at shortmetina.com, right? So let's jump in really quickly and do a recap of the overall markets. Right now on your screen is the SPY S&P 500 daily chart dating back to 2018 again two years worth of data we are off a little north of one percent on the day closed at 311.66 not a problem right because if we look at where we were on october 3rd around 284.82 up to uh uh, the most recent high of 315.48, that's a gain of over 10% in uh, in uh, about a month's time. So huge move in the market, a bit of a pullback today. We cooled off, perhaps something that we are top heavy. So this week might actually be that week of quote unquote us pulling back. And even so, that is not nothing that should scare or spook anyone in my opinion, because guess what? We recently or within the last uh, month or so, we just can continue to tread higher, gaining all-time highs, all-time highs, all-time highs. So for me sitting here at 311, again, although we might be a bit uh, heavy on the top, I still think we have some more upside to go. Again, around 328 to 330 is where I see it topping at. What else? And then we have the IWM similarly pulled back uh, today about north of 1% to close at 160.21. That's okay because we are still above that resistance level. Now support, we're going to call that a floor of around 160. As long as we can stay, stay around there or within the vicinity for me, the market or the IWM in particular looks fine. Again, we've taken such a long time to actually break out of that uh, 160 resistance level. Granted, we're pulling back now. 
even if we pull back a little as long as we can stay within the vicinity i think we have a real shot at retesting all-time highs which is in the 173s okay my take on the iwm what else all right, so let's uh, follow up and wrap it up and round it out with ticker ASLN daily chart. We're just going to focus in on price action the last few days, up about 36% on the day, closed at 520. So on Friday, we went as high as 707, low of 306 to close at 382. I did not like the close, I'll be honest with you. Considering how high we went on the day, I thought the stock pulled back too much. thought there was a possibility that we were actually going to sell off, but I said, as usual, you want to pay attention to how the stock opens up. Let's fast forward to today. What happened? We opened at 670. That right off the bat should tell you that, guess what? Momentum, boom, right back in this stock. Went as high as 818, low clocked in at 5, closed at 520. But I'm going to warn and caution again, pay attention to how the stock opens up on Tuesday. Obviously, if we open up above 520, right? We have such a big open like we did today comparative to the previous day's close. Then yes, the chance of this stock or this ticker ticker ASLN running increases. But again, based on what I see here, the selling 520 close and the low of the day 55, not 55, but just 5. Um, I think go on, I'm going to go on a limb here and say that the chance of the stock selling off tomorrow looks more of a, a likelihood. But again, you want to pay attention to how the stock opens up, all right? Hope that makes sense. Comment in the comment section and let me know. And we're going to cap it there. Tina here, once again from shortmetina.com. If you enjoyed any portion of that video, I'd like you to do three things for me, right? One, comment in the comment section. Let me know what are your thoughts. Super important. It helps to get the word out. Two, 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 two. Ensure that you are subscribed to our YouTube channel at Short Me Tina. I feel like we've been stagnant in the 1000s for a long time. Let's see if we can get to 2000 by 2020, at least the beginning of 2020, right? Let's keep this momentum going. And lastly, lastly, my friend, I've been trading for a long time. So if you think you can learn anything from me, I mean like anything, definitely head on over to our website, shortmetina.com. Sign up, become a member. Thank you for listening, and as always, thank you for the support. I'll talk to you tomorrow.